In this video, I will show you how to add your Facebook leads to Google Sheets and Zoho CRM automatically. So assume that I am running some recruitment company and for the same I am running Facebook ads for which I have created this Facebook lead generation form. And whenever some job applicant will submit this form, I want to add the details of that person into the sales spreadsheet and the same person should be created as a contact in my Zoho CRM software. And to automate this whole process firstly i will have to integrate this facebook lead ad form application google sheets application and this zoho crm application with the help of software called as pabli connect which is an amazing integration and automation software i am an existing user of pabli connect so i am already logged in you can create your free account in pabli connect in just a two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay, so I have directly pasted the name as add Facebook leads to Google Sheets and Zoho CRM and now I will select the folder in which I want to create my automation workflow. So I am selecting this main workflows. All right, then clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes. So these boxes are called as trigger and action. And here the trigger means when this happens, an action means do this. So whenever something happens in your first application, then automatically do this in your next application. Okay. So in this way, you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation. Okay. So according to our use case, I want that whenever any new lead has got captured in our Facebook lead ad form, basically via Facebook lead ad form, then automatically add add those lead details in Google Sheets application. So let me select the same and further I want to add the very same lead in my Zoho CRM software. So again I will click on this plus icon and will add a new action step and will search for the Zoho CRM. Okay. So in this way I have selected all three application in the trigger and the action windows. Okay. And now the idea here is firstly I will connect Facebook lead ad with Pabli connect and will capture all the new lead here and then I will connect this Google Sheets and Zoho CRM with the Pabli Connect and in this way I am going to automate this whole process okay so clicking on connect then clicking on add a new connection click on this button and then you will have to provide the access of your Facebook account in which your lead ad form is already created but because I'm already logged in in my Facebook account so did you notice how the authorization is successful directly and my Facebook account is also also connected with Pabli Connect. And because we are connected here, you can notice whatever the pages are available inside my Facebook account have started visible here. But I will select this specific page that is Impetus Recruitment. Okay, so let me select the same. And after that, you will notice whatever the lead generation forms are associated with my page will start visible here. Okay, here you can notice three lead generation forms are visible. Let me show you the same. So this is my page. Now I'll click on this Meta Business the suit and after that from the left hand sidebar I will click on this all tool section and further after scrolling down you will find an option of instant form okay so here you will notice all my lead ad forms which are associated with this impetus recruitment page okay so I am going to work on this specific page that is have questions contact us now and this is my Facebook lead ad form let me click on this arrow and show this form okay? Okay. But the same form is already opened here. So I am going to close this particular page from here. Okay. Coming back to the dashboard of Pabli Connect and let me select the same form. And now I will click on this button that is save and send test request. And firstly, I would recommend you to kindly read these instructions carefully. Okay. So it is saying that please note that after clicking the save and send test request button, you will need to make a sample submission of your lead generation form by clicking on the preview form button and by filling out the form so in order to create a sample submission I will have to make use of Facebook lead ad testing tool because I'm not running any live advertisement this is just a dummy Facebook page or a testing Facebook lead generation form okay so how you can also reach out to that Facebook lead ad testing tool so simply click on this learn more option and in this way from this particular document 
invitation you can get that facebook lead ad testing tool link okay so this is the link let me open the same all right and here you will find all the pages name as well as the form name okay so this is my page and here you can notice all the forms are visible if i will click on this preview form button you will be able to access the same facebook lead ad form from where you can generate a dummy lead well again this form is already open in this specific page so i have closed it and now in front of you i am going to submit this form and you will see how the same details will be captured via pabli connect okay so let me do the same the age is 24 the first name is demo last name is user how about i change these details because the same detail is already added in my google sheet as well as into my zoho crm software okay so give me a minute so as a first name i am adding dummy last name as user the age will be 28 the email address will be dummy user okay give me a second let me change the same that is dummy so at pablitudes.com the city will be bhopal and the job title will be same in place of female i will change it as male and the phone number will be 96666 all right give me a second let me on my nums lock 96666666 all right clicking on this next button and now i will click on this submit button and as soon as the submission is successful here you will notice that a response will be received and that response will consist of all the facebook lead details and here you can notice the response is received let me show you the details one by one so here you can notice the same age the same first name as dummy the same last name as user the same email address that is dummy user at pablitudes.com the same city job title gender phone number and all other details okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our facebook lead ad form and pabli connect is working absolutely fine so now onwards what will happen every time a new lead is generated via our facebook lead ad form those lead details will be captured via pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done now moving further i am going to collect all the lead details in my google sheet so here you can notice i have already created a spreadsheet with the name job applicants data coming back to the dashboard clicking on this action event step and here i will add a new row basically i'll choose the action event as add a new row because firstly a new row will be added and in that new row my lead details will be updated automatically clicking on connect clicking on add a new connection click on this sign in with google and then you will have to provide the access of your account in which your spreadsheet is already created so i have selected the same and now i am going to provide the permission by clicking on this continue and in this way my Google Sheets account will be immediately connected with the Pabli Connect. So here you can notice authorization is successful and it is connected. And now whatever the spreadsheets are available inside my Google Sheets account have started visible here. And the same sheet has got selected automatically. The name of my spreadsheet is Job Applicants Data via Facebook Lead Ad. Okay. And because I have a single sheet only, so that is where the sheet is also selected here. And you will notice whatever the columns you have added inside your spreadsheet, all these. column names have been fetched as a field okay so i just need to provide the data in these fields and in this way the lead data will be updated here automatically okay so coming back to the dashboard and here i will provide the details one by one now from where i am going to provide the details remember we have already captured this data as a response of our trigger step and the interesting thing here is i am not going to manually copy these details and paste below again and again. again for every new lead okay i'm going to map the above details and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down now simply select that data and in this way the details will be mapped okay so in the same way i am going to map other details also but you must be thinking what is this mapping what is the importance of mapping okay so whatever the details i will map here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time 
or in next time okay so i'm repeating this thing once again that whatever the details i am mapping here will be replaced automatically okay but just in case if i will provide any detail manually here okay so give me a second let me show you let's say i provide the city here manually so what will happen this city will remain same for every new lead okay so this is the difference in providing the values via mapping and via manually okay asking for the job title so we have have the job title as a software developer okay i have searched for this data asking for the gender and the phone number all right so let me search for the same and here i have mapped this gender also and lastly i'm going to map the phone number which was a dummy number again that is 96666 okay so i have mapped all the details clicking on this button save and send test request and as soon as i do that here you can notice the response is received and this response is positive that means my automation is working fine and here you can notice the same data has been updated automatically to my spreadsheet will all the similar details okay here you can notice the same age the same email that is dummy user at pavlitude.com the same name that is dummy user the city is also the same okay so the presence of this data again shows that the connection in our google sheets and pavli connect is also working absolutely fine so now on words what will happen every time a new lead is captured via this form the details firstly will be captured via pavli connect and then the same details will be added automatically to this spreadsheet and now i want to send the same details to my zoho crm software as well okay so the application is already selected and now i will select the action even that is create or contact so let me search for the same let me select the same okay now just like i have connected the above two application with pavli connect now i am going to connect the zoho crm with the pavli connect okay so click on this button and firstly you will have to provide the domain okay so here we have the domain as zoho.in okay so i have copied the same let me paste the same clicking on save and then it will ask you the permission because i am already logged in in my zoho account so that is why it is not asking me for the access it is asking me for the permission so i have provided the same and once again the author authorization is successful and zoho crm application is also connected with the pavli connect okay so firstly it is asking what is your lead source well this is actually from facebook okay so let me check whether we have this option or not and yes we do have this option now it is asking for other details which are actually required for creating a contact in any kind of crm okay so let me provide the details and once again i am going to map the data from the drop down okay so remember we have the first name as dummy user okay so let me search for the same all right i have mapped it and did you notice the crm is asking for the first name and last name individually and here the last name field is also required so that is why i have specifically added my first name and last name field separately individually here you can notice i have both the fields individually okay so it is just a small tip from my side that while creating your facebook lead ad form you can add the first name and last name field individually asking for the last name okay so let me once again search for the last name which was user asking for the email address let me search it with the help of at the rate and in this way i am going to map the data in other fields also asking for the phone number let me once again search for the same all right asking for the fax mobile well i am going to provide the data only into the required and into the important fees okay because my objective is just to show you how connections can be made or how the data can be added automatically okay so currently i am working with the basic details only asking for the city so yes we do have the city how about i map the same and i think i have provided the data in all the important fields okay now once again i'll click on this button and wait for the response first and if that response is positive that means my data my lead is all also added in the zoho crm software okay so i have refreshed this page fingers crossed waiting for the lead to be created as a contact here and here you can notice the same user has been created as a contact in our zoho crm application okay so the the same name is here the same email address the same phone number let me even open this contact and check for other details okay remember we have also added the city 
or let's say this is the name phone number and where are other details all right here you can find the city as well okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between crm and public connect is also working absolutely fine and in this way our automation is ready so in order to automate this whole process you need to create this workflow inside public connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because Pabli Connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually because now onwards every time a new lead is generated in this specific form the details of that lead will be collected automatically to my spreadsheet and the same lead will be created as a contact automatically okay and just in case if you want to access this three step workflow inside your Pabli Connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and sign Sign up for free into the Public Connect, and then you will be able to access the same three-step workflow inside your own Public Connect account. That too for free. Not just these applications, you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with Public Connect. You can ask your queries at forum. Public. dot com. My team will surely answer to your questions. This is the website of Public Connect, and for the latest updates of Public Connect and unique automation ideas, you can join our Facebook group that is Formget Dot Deals. If you have found this video helpful in any way, share it with your friends and colleagues, and also help them to automate their business. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.